time period of a satellite we want to find out a satellite is moving with orbital velocity v in kinematics we have a time period formula that gives us the distance divided by speed now if this satellite is moving with a speed v not v orbital we must find out the total distance this is r plus h so this total circumference will be 2 pi r r means r plus h this is the total distance and orbital velocity this gives us the time period so with this we proceed further v naught we know the formula here v naught square square so let's make it square everything so this is t square is equal to 4 pi square r square upon v orbital square v orbital square is equal to this so let's put it here 4 pi square r square upon v square is equal to g me upon r that r will go here so t square is equal to this we'll write it again here t square is equal to this is 4 pi square r square i will write it simply 2 pi r square upon g mass of the earth into no I will write it this way 4 pi square upon g m e multiplied by r cube. What is this r? Distance of the satellite from center of the earth. Now here this is mass of earth. So for earth the time period and this radius of rotation they are proportionate to each other constant 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 for earth so for any planet for any planet or star for any planet or star square of time period is proportionate to square of time period is this is constant so this is proportionate to cube of distance from center cube of distance from center of this and if you remember this is what was third law you have done it okay so t square proportionate to r cube this comes in the uh, time period now if we want to find out relation of height relation of height with respect to velocity relation of height with respect to time how can we find with respect to time this r is equal to i will write here height and time Yes, you could remember it. T square proportionate to R cube. Uh, this was okay. Height and time. This is T square is equal to four pi square g m e, and this is R plus h to the power three. How can we get the value for h? Take third root of both the sides. Okay. Yes. It will be a little complex. But we can always get it. Like r plus h. r plus h is equal to q is equal to t square 4 pi square upon g into me then t 
take cube root of both the sides so we get r plus h is equal to this whole thing cube root this whole thing cube root then h is equal to here 4 pi square t square upon g mass of the earth to the power one third minus r. This is the relation of height and time. This is the relation of time and height. Both are in the numerator. This tells us more is the height, more is the time of rotation. Here again, same thing, h and t, both are in numerator. So, more is the height, more is the time period. So, if we want to increase the time period of a satellite, what should we do? Answer, we must increase its height. When the height k goes on increasing, 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 the time period also goes on increasing. Now suppose we want a time period equal to 24 hours, exactly one day time period of the earth. Then we will place here at the time 24 into 30 into 60 into 60. That seconds and all other things are known to us. If we put this, make the calculation, the height comes to be 36,000 kilometer. That means if a satellite is at a height of 36,000 kilometer, then its time period will be 24 hours. Okay, this is one thing. Second thing, if it is very close, then time period here. T square is equal to 4 pi square upon 4 pi square into r cube. H is neglected because it is very close. So this is r cube, r cube upon g m e, right? So we find value with this. g m e upon r square is equal to g and this is 4 pi square r and this is t square so with help of this we can find the value of time period and this time period comes to be nearly time period is approximately uh, nearly 84 minutes what does it mean a satellite close to the surface of earth will make one complete round in 84 minutes. 84 minutes is almost one and a half hour. So a satellite close to the earth, if it does not, if it should not fall on the earth, we have to maintain a very high speed. But with this high speed, the time period also decreases. And how much is that time period? 84 minutes. If we increase the height, 36,000 kilometer, the time period goes on increasing, increasing, increasing and this becomes 24 hours, so much. And we use the satellite, this as well as this, both the ways we are using it. So these are some of the features, time period of the satellite, height of the satellite, velocity of the satellite and its relation, velocity with the height time period with the height, how they are related to each other, all these you have done it. So here I will write equations again, t square is equal to, this is 4 pi square r plus h cube divided by g into me. Then relation of h, height is equal to 4 pi square t square upon g m e to the power one third minus r. This is for the time period. So for 24 hours h is equal to 
36,000 kilometer. For H0, that is close to surface. That means H is 0, but this R is there. So, the time period is approximately 84 minutes. So, these are the few data you must remember so far. In the next lecture, we will see what are the energy involvements in satellite, how much energy it has. Thank you.